This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. As we gather for worship, we have this call to worship. God does not see as mortals see. We look on the outward appearance. God looks in the heart. Jesus, light of the world, give us eyes to see as you see. Once we lived in darkness, but now as children of light, we are called to what is good and right and true. Jesus, light of the world, give us eyes to see as you see. As we gather together in our virtual time, let us confess our sins together. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who is present, who gives life, who calls into existence the things that do not exist. Amen. As children of God's light, we are called to do what is pleasing to the Lord, to participate in what is good and right and true, and expose what is unfruitful and evil. Knowing that we turn from the light, we bring our confession to God so that what is hidden in us becomes visible and the shadows of our hearts may be illumined by grace. Gracious God, we are people who still love darkness rather than light. We keep shameful deeds secret, but flaunt our occasional acts of virtue. We see ourselves as blameless, but pass judgment on others. We do not stand firmly enough with those who are vulnerable, but step back protecting ourselves. Forgive us, we pray. Bring us into your light that we may see ourselves rightly. Bring us into your light that we may know ourselves loved. Bring us into your light that we may live more fruitful lives. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Receive good news. God turns to you in love. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, says our God. All your sin is forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the free and abounding gift of God's grace for you. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Bend your ear to our prayers, Lord Christ, and come to us. By your gracious life and death for us, bring light into the darkness of our hearts and anoint us with your spirit, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.